Gretchen, Friend in Word, in Care, in Speed, in Faith. Now, let us continue our instructive conversation on Anapanasati Pavana. All development of mindfulness by means of breathing. <coughs> Now we have come to the fourth tetrad of the whole set. The fourth tetrad is the heart or, it, or essence of the whole system of Anapanasati. <coughs> now we will <coughs> Begin uh, from the very beginning, that is uh, the exercise of one, exercise uh, two, three, four, onwards. <coughs> As I have told you, at the regulation, every time we start a practice, we have to practice uh, from the very beginning, the first exercise, second exercise onwards. But now we have to come to the first beginning of the success for some special purpose <coughs> that is to know it well. Each, 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 each object of the, each exercise uh, to see it as a person uh, to look and see the truth of impermanence, impermanence, anitang, anitang. <coughs> this exercise is the 13th, the 13th. Upon the truth of impermanence, called in Bali as Anicca Nupati, <laughs> seeing thoroughly on impermanence. <coughs> Impermanence <laughs> in Bali and its tongue. I'm not sure that's a good equivalent to each other. <clears throat> Impermanence means uh, chanting, chanting. <clears throat> Perpetual shell, a perpetual flop. It is a temporarily rising, deciding, ceasing. <laughs> All this temporarily arising and then deciding <laughs> and then ceasing. Arise, decide, and see. That is uh, the stream uh, of impermanence or anicca. Now we have to have uh, in our mind the twelve objects uh, of the uh, first twelve exercise of the whole set. Now from the exercise of one, we have an object at a long breathing. Exercise of two, we have a short breathing. Exercise of three, 
he have all body, best body, flesh body, the size of four. He have the coming down uh, of the condition of the body. Then at the size of five, you uh, have a rapture, uh, an object, you speak. We have object of happiness, seven have the function of the feeling, conditioning the mind, and the head coming down, the power of the conditioner of the mind, <laughs> and then he had the nine, exercise nine, we have the attitude of the mind in all aspects, <laughs> as we have the cut, <laughs> exercise ten, the force the mind to be joyful, eloquent, and force the mind to be stable, <coughs> and twelve, and force the mind to release <coughs> the object that uh, it uh, attached to. <coughs> You will repeat these uh, twelve objects of uh, twelve exercises. Now, <clears throat> at the exercise of one, we <laughs> experience the breath itself, uh, to know it impermanent and the longness of the breath is impermanent, shortness of it is impermanent. <coughs> Death body impermanent, flesh body impermanent. <clears throat> the relationship between the two bodies impermanent. The conditioning of the breath body to fetch body is impermanent. You have to repeat <laughs> now and then, now and then from the very beginning. <clears throat> Even the fetch body calms down and down. The flesh body impermanent. The, the action of coming down of the flesh uh, body and flesh body is impermanent. And even the result uh, of the conditioning is impermanent. Mm. At the first, that breath uh, of four exercises. We can see impermanent various form, various ways. Only to see, look and see the truth of impermanence of all these objects. Repeating it, the breath itself, the longness, the shortness, the feature of it. Uh, in front of it, the best body, such body, relationship between it, the conditioning to each other, the coming down of both body, and the sound uh, from the coming down. Every object, of every bit of feature of it, 
have been the characteristic of impermanence. Uh, and then we come to the second subject. <coughs> we have a rapture in the mind. See, <laughs> in the impermanence of the rep of the rapture, or the feeling of rapture, uh, or the feeling of the happiness, <coughs> the creature, the reason of it, in front of it, and the conditioning function of the feeling <coughs> to the body and to the mind. The reason of conditioning to the mind. Every object, every part object is impermanent. <laughs> impermanent very from very way of the second statement, that's it. Now we come to the third Third that's it. Uh, on the mind itself. The thing, the my, the my, <laughs> the thinking, the thought, every aspect, and the mind of every aspect, as we have discussed, with lot and without lot, having anger, without anger, having illusion and without illusion, as that, so on. <clears throat> Even the joyful mind, the mind is impermanent. The joyfulness is impermanent. The table mind, the mind is impermanent. The table net impermanent. <clears throat> Releasing my, the my releasing the object attached before, the my is uh, impermanent. The action of releasing, impermanent. <coughs> you know when well about the my, the my itself impermanent, the cause, the base uh, of it. Impermanent. In <coughs> the manner uh, of ceasing, impermanent. And then uh, from twelve exercise of three tests, we have. <laughs> We have uh, knowledge of impermanent various way, various form, various aspect, various uh, feature. Repeat this at the <laughs> exercise at twelve. <laughs> now we can. And not the truth from the truth of impermanence. This exerciser, having the name of a seeing impermanence, but it uh, includes uh, some other truth in the in the, uh, the exercise, in the exercise. Because uh, impermanence uh, can give us another knowledge. <coughs> you will see this. Because uh, everything changes. are impermanent. The impermanence of it causes us 
to endure <laughs> some <laughs> some problem cause us to endure some prop some problem because of impermanence of that then we can see the truth of dukkha dukkha the term dukkha uh, may mean the pain uh, suffering this satisfactoriness or misery misery in whole sense it is dukkha after seeing and it's young of the impermanent we can see dukkha uh, misery <coughs> because of we cannot stop uh, the influence of impermanent uh, we have to stop first we cannot uh, command it <laughs> we cannot govern it because uh, there is no we in essence this is the called not self the life is not self because uh, cannot come uh, cannot govern Uh, and the impermanence and the mystery no no man can command it <laughs> that is the meaning of not sense if we in a sense a real sense you have to be able to control it to govern it no not being able to control it then regarding it as not self after that we can see all things under the influence of impermanence suffering and not self Uh, can be called it's a going on natural way going or existing on the natural way natural way amatitatta typical for you to remember it no need to remember it amatitatta <coughs> going or existing on the natural way that is uh, impermanent uh, mystery not self because it goes only in natural way and call it kamma niyamata going or existing under a natural law natural law impermanent uh, suffering and not self uh, natural law on being going under nat- natural law <coughs> and it go under the law of ikapatyata this term equivalent to you as a patitya samuppada dependent origination the real name full name of it is ikapatyata patitya samuppado everything had to go under the law of cause and effect. It seems to call it uh, 
Casualty, casualty. <coughs> After seeing all these facts, <laughs> we can see real life <laughs> completely that all these things are void of self, void of self, having no sense. <coughs> Call it the sunyata. It is a state of being void of self. After that we can see, oh, all things go in such a way, such a way. We call tathāsā, suchness, suchness, thusness only, tathāsā. <coughs> Having real life, tathāsā, we can see another <laughs> supreme truth, ultimate truth, that final step which called Atamayata. No need to rely on it forever. Now we see that no need to rely on it forever. It means the cause or condition that we have relied on it until now. Now we see no need to rely upon it forever. All these are the result of seeing impermanent. Then it concludes in the exercise 13. Seeing impermanent. Keep at a reason of seeing more, more, more truth until a tamma yata rises to strength. Even in the circle of high Buddhism, this term strength to them, but it is in the the word of the Buddha, Atamma Yatta. <laughs> the <coughs> enlightenment of the mind that from now on need not to rely upon these cause, these conditions. <coughs> All these uh, is of, are of uh, exercise 13, exercise 13, <laughs> rather one, <laughs> the scope of practice, repeating it again, <laughs> seeing impermanent. From that we can see the truth of suffering. After seeing the truth of suffering, we can see the truth of not-self. After seeing not-self, we can see in the truth of all things going or existing Hmm. On natural way, hmm. and then seeing, on being, going, and existing under the natural law, hmm. and all of this called the law of casualty. Everything has to go under the law of cause and effect. Hmm. Now we can see 
clearly, clearly the truth of why, why need of self, of sunyata. And then we can see the truth of suchness, thatness, only that, only such, not, not more than like this. Tathata, call it Tathata. And finally, having realizing the truth of Tathata, we can we can know, can feel, can experience the truth that from new, from now on, we need not to rely upon this uh, condition, this cause, however. That's strange for you. If I name it in Pali, it will be with the table ta 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 ta. Anicca impermanent, tukkata, maithri, anattata, not self, samatitata, going a natural way, tamaniyamata. Going under natural law, Nithapatyata, the law of causality, Sunyata, void of self, Tathata, suchness, Atamayata. No need to rely upon it for a word. Only Tathata, Tathata, Anichata, Tukata, Anattata, Ammatitata, Ammaniyamata, Nithapatyata, Sunyata, Tathata, Atamayata. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ta. Ta in Pali means the state of being, state of being. Now it's exercise the You have to practice this. The whole night, two nights do you can. Exercise the key. Now, We'll come to exercise 14. Seeing <laughs> the fading away of attachment. The term Virakha Nupatsi, Virakha Nupatsi. Uh, seeing the fading away. Fading away of what? Fading away of attachment, as we have had before. <coughs> fading, fading about, fading on and all. Fading away. Final. Fading about, fading about, fading about, until the fading all totally. Fading away, seeing the fading away. Vijrakhanupati. Like a die, a die, yellow die. Die to the clot, now the die fade out. Oh, fade, uh, fading, 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 fading until no yellow color <laughs> can be understood by the simile. <coughs> Now we feel in the mind and that attachment or the result of it as a dukkha begin to fade, to fade. <coughs> now present time in the mind, then like seeing the fading away of attachment and dukkha. Then we can look and see after, after the past, in the past attachment, in the past of time. <clears throat> we have much 
attachment. Now we can know that that attachment uh, can be faith, can be faith being, can be faith being in the same way. Even in the future, we can have attachment to fading away, fading away. And by this practice, the same practice, <laughs> see in advance that we can have it faith. Faced uh, down, faced <laughs> down, faced down. Fading about until fading away, doing away with it. <coughs> that means of fading. <laughs> I did not know a good equivalent uh, in English to the term. <laughs> then I have to use the word fading, fading. You know yourself. Fading, little bit, little, 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 little bit, little bit, little, little, little. <laughs> this is the exercise of fourteen, fourteen. By mean of seeing and it's done in the exercise of thirteen, we can have a reason of fading away of attachment in this exercise of fourteen. It uh, belongs to it, depends on it. The exercise of fourteen depends on the exercise of thirteen. Now we come to the exercise of fifteen. Fifteen. Seeing the extinction. The Pali term is only seeing extinction. Now we have to know further that extinction of attachment and dukkha. In Pali, nirotha nupatsi, nirotha extinction, nupatsi, seeing clearly, totally. Seeing distinction, seeing the distinction, <coughs> the distinction, if uh, temporary, uh, temporary, not complete, we call it atthankamma. Cannot stand still, cannot stand still. Being a bowl, not stand still. Not complete acting. What is the meaning of it? Acting, acting. Temporarily, only called Atang Kama. And if acting completely, Full scale of extinction is called Nirota. Extinct without remainder. Without remainder. Now we have to, 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 to kind of uh, extinction temporarily and ultimately. Now, attachment <laughs> Maybe in the way of temporarily or uh, ultimately can be of the two. <laughs> Some time only extinct temporarily and then come again. <laughs> Even so, it's a good <laughs> for the vision uh, having it uh, out. Temporarily, and then repeating it, repeating it, and then it is acting ultimately, finally. (coughs) 
Rather, maybe uh, the thing for you that uh, in Buddha Dhamma we regard extinction is an part of part element element <laughs> element simply element element of extinction <laughs> rather to send to for you element of extinction as a whole we have a three element form element element uh, we have form formless element element with formless <laughs> is formless and then element of extinction the extinction of the first two element of form formless form element formless uh, element uh, can be extinct by means of the element of extinction, the third element. Now the element of extinction <laughs> doing the function of it is an extinction to the attachment of our own, suffering of our own of the mind, not, not our, when you say I or my, means of the mind. <clears throat> Exercise 15, seeing the extinction of the attachment. The 13th, seeing impermanent. The 14th, seeing the fading away of imper uh, our attachment. 14, seeing the extinction of attachment. By means of seeing impermanent, we can give uh, an extinction uh, to the <coughs> attachment. Now we come to the last exercise. Exercise 16. Three in the throwing back. <laughs> it's a bit in the way of similarly throwing back. Before this, we <laughs> attach something, the cutting is at I or my. Uh, that is the action of a robber, <laughs> robber something from another one to be as a I or as my. After seeing this, <laughs> seeing this, Seeing impermanence, seeing fading away, seeing extinction. <laughs> we cannot have it as our own. <laughs> have to throw it back, giving back to the real owner, <laughs> the nature, the nature. Stop the being of a robber. The way of speaking in similar way, and throwing back before this, getting in, getting in, now throwing back. Pati nitsaka nupati, literally it means throwing back only. And so throwing of the thing we have got have it as I or my. Back means back to the real owner, to the real owner, the, 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 the nature, 
throwing back to the real owner, the nature, <laughs> the last exercise. This is the realization. This. <clears throat> And then we know, 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 now the mind, <laughs> throwing back <laughs> on this, that thing, and the mind free from attachment, being free uh, from attachment. And then we free uh, from influence of a uh, uh, being free from influence of a Dukkha, suffering, misery. <clears throat> and no, at that time, knowing at that time that now, <clears throat> we come to the last practice. <clears throat> We call it Pramachan, Pramacharya in Thai, Pramachan Pali, Pramacharya. Prafit Pramachan. <coughs> virtuous, virtuous practice. Pramma, virtuous. Charya practice. Virtuous practice. We come to the end of virtuous practice <laughs> of uh, humanity. <coughs> and know, in, knowing that, now, now the mind is released, released <laughs> from all things. And that is uh, from the world, from this world. That is, uh, from the influence of this word, <laughs> not either from the globe or the earth <laughs> or the world, <laughs> but from influence of worldly thing in the world, <laughs> or worldly thing in the world. And then we call it new life, new life. And the life uh, beyond all influence of positiveness and negativeness, positive wisdom and negative wisdom, beyond the influence of this hair of what fit. <coughs> if you are a Christian, you can say that you are out of influence of good and evil, <laughs> of good and evil. The command of God to Adam and Eve, you will not eat this fruit. If you eat, you will die. The fruit of the tree of good and evil. Now we can be beyond of influence of good and evil. New life <laughs> in Buddhist where even in the Christian way, if a real Christian want to be beyond in front of good and he will to do this. This is a exercise to teach the last exercise of the whole threat of Ahnafana Sati, development of mindfulness by means of breathing. Now you can see the whole system of Ahnafana Sati practice <laughs> divided into four groups. <clears throat> the first group, the fruit upon the mind, uh, upon the body, the second group upon the where the na and the conditioner of the mind is very true on the mind itself. The fourth group upon the tamma in wider sense of all things, all things. 
All things <coughs> can be summarized on body, feeling, and the mind. Or even the mind body. <laughs> All these things under uh, the meaning of the single term of Thamma. Thamma means all things. But in essence, means the, the, the thing <laughs> that give us problem and the way to be beyond the problem, to resolve all the problem. <clears throat> now we think of uh, Kei Sikha Kei Sikha Kei Samadhi Panya Kei 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 But the Sikha means the education 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 or the meaning of body term or uh, the Pama term Kei Training Kei Sikha You have heard this three words Sīla, Sīla, Samādhi, and Pāṇyā. Sīla, Samādhi, Pāṇyā. Morality, concentration, insight, wisdom. These three things <laughs> include that, being included in these sixteen steps of Anāpāṇasati. In the 16 exercise of Anna Parnasati Pavana, you can find it. Sīla, Samādhi, and Vanya. Morality means uh, a command being the mind to do the job, uh, to do <laughs> the really job, the supreme job. Uh, and the mind concentrated upon the object uh, called the Samadhi and the insight, intuitive wisdom uh, from the concentrated mind uh, called Panya. Sila, Samadhi and Panya can be found in the whole set of the sixth step of mindfulness development. <coughs> it looked like uh, it will take much more time than we can endure. Someone look at it as a, it will take much more time to go away. Now <laughs> try to endure, to practice it bit by bit, bit by bit. If we have it in the correct way, <laughs> it will not to be difficult. <laughs> it can go, it can go bit by bit, bit by bit. Not too much time. <laughs> take too much time, adequate time to do this. Now, it was a while. <laughs> What uh, the practice uh, uh, to have a new life, <laughs> to have a new life. And I'm sure, I'm sure that all of you come here to seek uh, a new life, <laughs> life beyond in front of positive wisdom and negative wisdom, to be free, to be emancipated. <laughs> from all problems, physical way, psychical way, mental way, spiritual way. The <laughs> practice <coughs> of anapana sati bhavana is the development of mindfulness by means of breathing, breathing in and breathing out. Yes. 
and uh, we have this cut. We repeat it <laughs> in memory, in remembrance, <laughs> the sixteenth step of four group, a group of four. The fourth group on the body, the second group on the feeling, the third group on the mind, and the fourth group on the thumb. <coughs> the word thumb in essence uh, means the duty, thumb means duty, <coughs> duty to save us. <laughs> from death, from dukkha, from suffering, duty. <coughs> we have duty to know this, anicjang, dukkhang, anatta, sapata, sunyata. It will help us to be beyond all the problems. <coughs> no, we should need. <laughs> the system of anapanasati. <laughs> development, the development of the mind, we can say. In reality, development of mindfulness <coughs> by means of breathing. At first, on the breathing itself, Breathing in a bit, breathing out itself, and other on the truth, any truth, depending on the breathing, on the body, on the mind, on the life <laughs> itself. <coughs> but every stroke of breathing, and then we call all sixteen steps as anapanasati. Because we have to have some truth, some fact of truth, any kind of fact at every stroke of breathing. Means that it depends on the breathing. And then every step, every exercise called anapanasati depends on breathing. And not uh, only upon the breathing. Merely, only the beginning upon the breathing, the body of breathing, then upon the tamma, dependent to the breathing, and can be shown, can be clear uh, at the, the stroke of breathing. Now, I finish the conversation. I think it's a bad thing. To speak to you, uh, friend in birth, decay, disease, and disgrace, wish you to have success on this practice. <laughs> Worth the while of coming here to Suan Mok. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> good listener, to my speaking English in the way or Chinese speaking Thai. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.